Hello and welcome to Top 10 Features of ADS 2023. In the second video, we will talk about RF Pro simulation enhancements and there are a lot of interesting enhancements in the RF Pro environment and I hope you will stay till the end of this video and after watching this video, you would be seriously considering to upgrade to latest ADS 2023 and start to use RF Pro for your design work. All right, so let's get started and start talking about mesh and ports viewing. Starting with ADS 2023, after you perform momentum or FEM simulation, you have an option to look at mesh and ports. Once you double click and enable this uh, viewing of mesh and ports, you will notice a mesh display window. Now in this mesh control window, you can go ahead and configure the options which you want to apply to view the mesh or the ports. All these windows are dockable and to make it convenient, you can dock it anywhere in your panel. Notice by default, you have the mesh enabled for conductors and VRs. Now this view filter is very flexible and it will make your job much easier so that you can switch on or switch off mesh selectively. You can switch on mesh for any of the conductor layers if you're dealing with multi-layer geometry or a particular VR layer as well as on the material. For example, if I expand this material list, I can pick and choose to which material only I would like to activate the mesh. And here you can see I have activated it for three of the coils of these inductors. Now by default, the mesh is shown as outline mode. You can of course switch on the face color, play with the colors and so on and so forth. Now you can see, how cool this looks and how tetrahedrons were created for some of your 3D objects along with the transmission line on the PCB. Pretty cool, right? All right, along with the mesh also now you can see the ports and this will give you a pretty clear idea of what kind of port or feed is used during your FEM or momentum simulation. Makes you getting a little more design level insight using this feature. Pretty cool, right? Okay, now let's talk about some of the other interesting topics revolving around parametric EM analysis. And I will show you three different examples to run different kind of parametric EM. The first thing, let's talk about how can you run parametric EM if you have a custom 3D component. Now, this kind of custom 3D component can be easily created using EM Pro environment like you are seeing here. Now, this EM Pro ships along with ADS. You do not need to have any extra license or you need, don't need to buy any extra license. Now, in this EM Pro component that I created, I have a variable called numturns. And once you change that component uh, parameter, you can see immediately the changes happening in this component. Now, this component is saved and added into ADS workspace. And once you do that, that component can be inserted directly in RF Pro environment by going to File and Insert menu. Pretty simple, right? Now, once you have these parametric models accessible in RF Pro environment, you can assign your own variables. For example, if I right click on one of the inductors, go to Design Parameter, and now you can see the parameters of those inductors and the variables that I have assigned inside RF Pro. Now, once you have the variables in RF Pro now, you can go to Option, Set up Parameter Sweep, and set up either a nested sweep on those parameters or independent sweep. In my case, which I'm showing you here, I have three variables where each of these variables have three value, and I have created a sweep in a nested manner, resulting in overall 27 simulation. After this, you simply go to simulator, select choice of your simulation technology, and you go ahead and run. After the simulation finishes, you can plot this parameter response for your circuit for either a specific value combination or for all the combination, then see how your circuit response changes with respect to by changing those parameters. Pretty cool, right? Okay, so this was one type of sweep where you can bring in or you can create any custom 3D component and use it in your circuit design and then perform a parametric analysis with RF Pro. Now let's talk about second example, which is a couple line microstrip bandpass filter. In this example, I would like to sweep certain process variation. Now those process variations could be my uh, could be my material tolerances or fabrication tolerances. RF Pro gives you an easy access to all those process variation without you having to have a parametric layout or a parametric stack up. You can access all those process variations by going to Options, 
process variation tab. Here you can either specify a single number or a variable. You can apply these variations either as a global level or on an individual layer level. Here you can see I am defining one variable for dielectric height and it's in percentage. Similarly for material property I have assigned a variable for permittivity. Again it's in percentage. Once you declare those variable you can go to parameter sweep and define the sweep. Here for both ER and dielectric height, I am sweeping from minus 5% to plus 5% around a nominal value. That means it's three values, each, so total nine simulations. Now, once you set it up, you run simulation. After simulation finishes, look at this parameter response either for a specific value or for all the value combination. Now you can see how your bandpass filter performance on XBand can suffer due to those tolerances for which I have performed the sweep. It's a great design level insight for any RF microwave circuit designer because some of these things are going to happen in the final hardware that you're going to you know, fabricate. So using this nice capability of RF Pro, you can go ahead and look at these performance spread which you might get after the fabrication and you can tighten the, the design specification such that even after fabrication, you're still going to meet the spec. Pretty cool, right? Okay, now let's talk about the third type of example, which is a output matching network for a power amplifier. This network amplifier is designed using micro strip line component. Now these are kind of P cells, right? And you might be doing RFIC or MMIC design. You may have a spiral inductor or a MIM capacitor kind of components, which are available in PDK. Those are also P cell components. Now, now it is possible to sweep those P cell parameters in RF Pro, and you can access it by simple right clicking on the P cell, go to design parameter, and with this property dialog, you can go ahead and assign any variable to any of those parameters. If you don't want to go to individual you know, P cell components, you can simply right click on the layout database, look at design parameter, which will give you a consolidated table of all the P cell and its parameter. Using this table, you can go ahead and apply the variables as you need. Pretty simple, pretty cool, right? Now, after that happens, you can simply go to options, go to parameter sweep. Like earlier, you can go ahead and set up a sweep. And here you can see for length and width, I have total 36 simulation being performed. And after simulation finishes, you can, of course, look at S parameter response to see how the performance spread changes with those P cell parameters, which we just swept. And after you study this behavior, you can take this parametric EM data back to circuit design for performing circuit simulation and optimization. I will cover that in one of the upcoming videos on how to take this parametric EM data and utilize it in circuit design and optimization environment. So hopefully you are excited enough to see these many new enhancements in RF Pro and you can sense how your design life will be a lot easier with these new features. So in summary, I have shown you three types of parametric EM analysis. Number one, using parametric EM sweep on P-cell components. Second, you can do parametric EM sweep on process variations. And third, even if you have your own custom 3D components, and if they are parametric in nature, you can very easily perform parametric EM analysis on those non-standard components. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching and wish you all the best in your design work. And see you soon to start using ADS 2023 release.